Have you ever wondered what buyers are actually looking for when they're shopping for a home for sale? If you're considering putting your home on the market, then this is a video you don't want to miss because I'm going to share the top three things that buyers give us feedback when they're touring our homes for sale. If you're new to my channel, then welcome or welcome back. I'm Stephanie Noss with the Homeplicity Realty Group at Keller Williams. I've been selling real estate for 15 years and I am passionate about helping our clients build and develop wealth through real estate. If you're interested in information on buying a home, selling a home, or investing in Toronto real estate, then I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel. If you like this content, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you have any ideas on future videos that you'd like to see, go ahead and comment down below. Okay. So you're considering putting your home on the market and you want to make sure that it stands out and that you're not getting any negative feedback, especially for things that we could get ahead of up front. So what are the top three things that buyers are commenting on and giving us feedback, especially when they aren't selecting a property for sale? Let's discuss those so that you can make some adjustments up front. And when they go through, hopefully you get positive feedback and that comes in the form of an offer. Point number one, make sure that you have decluttered and depersonalized your space. I would suggest that buyers want to see that you've put some sort of effort into prepping the home for sale. Get out the Mr. Clean, make sure that you scrub every nook and cranny, wipe the walls down, make sure that everything is just edited out. Take down your personal photos. There's two things that I recommend that almost all of our clients do. Usually people need to redo the caulking in their showers. It just kind of gets like dingy and it's something that you're like, oh, I'm gonna do it tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. Now's the time. <laughs> um, if you're handy, do it yourself. If not, you wanna maybe get Jiffy in or your dad, <laughs> your father-in-law, get them in and just make sure that your caulking is fresh. And then you also wanna make sure that your walls are freshly painted. Any of those scuffs, like I have a five-year-old and he just has his little hands trailing along the walls all the time. After a couple of years and just to freshen the space up, make it smell fresh, cover up all those little nicks, scratches and dents that you've been meaning to do for the last little bit. And we always suggest something light and bright. So I always prefer kind of off white, like a white with just a hint of gray or a hint of something. It helps make the space, especially for some of our smaller spaces like condos or for freehold homes that they don't get a ton of natural light in them. It just helps make the space look brighter, fresher and more inviting. So that's one of the best things that you can do is just to give a really good scrub, edit out anything that you're planning on getting rid of anyways. Now's the time, clean those closets out. If you're gonna be moving to your next space, you don't want people opening the door, looking at your home and things are falling out in them. I know that happens at my house. If you're gonna be moving, you might as well donate and get rid of some of those pieces that you haven't worn. There's no sense in bringing them into your next space. Just get that done now and that way people aren't gonna go into your closets and feel like, oh my gosh, there's not enough storage in this house. Any of the things that have been kind of bothering you and didn't work for the space, let's make sure that that isn't highlighted and standing out for future purchasers as they come through your space. Basically, we're gonna edit things out. We're gonna clean everything off the countertops, everything off the counters in the bathroom, off your coffee table, night tables except for lamps. Just make it look like Ikea, super neutral so that buyers can come through, take a look at the space and envision themselves living in it. Feedback point number two is staging. Staging has become very prevalent in the last few years, and I actually think that most of our clients kind of expect to see it now when they're going through a space. If they go in and there's mismatched sofas, mismatched chairs in the dining table, it's a wild shower curtain, the rug has some stains on it, or the sofa's kind of rumpled, that's not as appealing. People are used to looking at these spaces that are magazine worthy, that have been staged, sometimes with bedding, accessories, rugs, throw pillows, plants, oftentimes even furniture pieces. If we think about it and just go ahead, take a look online and see which properties are the most appealing to you, I can almost guarantee it's gonna be the properties that have been staged. 
And if you want to have a cutting edge and stand out, then you definitely want to be on the same level as those properties, whether that's having your realtor bring in and stage items. This is a service that we offer and we stage most of our properties, whether it's bringing in the full show, all the furniture or just the staging and accessory items. I think people do want to see that. There's an expectation that they're you know, going to walk into something that looks like it's a developer showroom or a model home. So that can really go a long way. I don't know what the exact number is. I've been bugging my stager to say like what the return on investment is. But when we're talking about properties that are in the 1.2, 1.5, 2 million plus, that small investment in staging or just taking the time up front to prep your property can result in tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars in some cases. So never underestimate taking the time to do that staging and work up front before listing your property for sale because buyers expect to see it. And if you take a look on MLS, I think you'll see that all the best properties, like the, the best looking and the best priced properties are still selling. They're selling well, they're selling in multiple offers and that grunt work and investment of time and sometimes money definitely pays off in the long run because buyers want something that's turnkey. They want to be able to move into it. Feedback number three is having those entry level kind of basic things that people expect to see in a property. I would suggest that most of our clients are expecting to see some sort of laminate or hardwood floor. That's just a given. I know even for myself when I'm looking through listings and I'm like, oh, carpet. So if you have old dingy carpet or carpet on the stairs, I would suggest like in some places, definitely that needs to be steam cleaned. But oftentimes just like redoing carpet on a staircase or tearing out carpet in a bedroom, in a condo, and putting laminate floor in there to match the rest of it. It's a small investment of money. And I've never seen a buyer be realistic about what it's gonna cost for them to do these renovations. For something like painting, maybe you can get a painter to paint your entire condo for $1,500. But when buyers are calculating and making adjustments, when they have the ability to negotiate, which they do a little bit right now because the market softened up a touch, they're like thinking $5,000. We never wanna just do renovations to do renovations. And if you're gonna spend a dollar to make a dollar, sometimes that doesn't make sense. But for things like that, like getting it the property painted and prepped, if you can do it yourself, all the power to you. I do a terrible job and it would actually be worse than just leaving it. But if you are handy and you have the ability to do it, making sure that you put a fresh coat of paint on things and that it's neutral and looks good, people do expect to see laminate or hardwood floors. I don't find oftentimes that they've really placed that much of a difference. A lot of these engineered wood or laminate floors are really good quality now. And so having that versus some carpeting can really go a long way towards making people feel like, oh, this home's ready and turnkey. And people do want to pay to have someone else's renovations these days. But before you do any renos, make sure that you talk to a professional, like a realtor like myself that lists homes so that I can tell you if it makes sense or sometimes it's better just for us to sell it as is. But I would say making sure if the floors are in really bad condition that they're looking prepped and just nice, like have that more modern feel to them. And then what's really on trend right now is those white bright kitchens and bathrooms. It's not like you can just decide, oh, I'm going to list my home in two weeks. Let's get a new kitchen. You haven't really been able to do that for the last couple of years because everyone's been renovating their homes. What we are recommending a lot of times for our clients is just to paint the, the cabinets out. I was meeting with one of our potential sellers the other day and she had this really warm kind of orange colored cabinets in her kitchen, in her condo. And what we had decided to do was for her to have my painter come in and give a quote just to paint out those white and put some new hardware on them. And you would be surprised how much brighter and fresher and how much that can update the look of the kitchen without spending a lot of money. So you can compete with some of the newer builds and newer construction stuff just by doing things like updating the hardware on your kitchen and painting it out. And the same with the bathrooms, especially for smaller spaces, it just helps it feel lighter and brighter and look a little bit more modern and updated without a significant investment of cash and time, which could potentially delay getting your property to sale. The other thing is stainless appliances. Some of those black or white appliances, especially if they're a little bit dinged up, they just look dated. So you can probably get 
from Appliance Canada, or if you are looking for sales or even used stainless appliances, that really does help to update the look of the kitchen. And I do find pretty much all of the new condos and anyone who's redone their kitchen is putting in stainless steel. Just by doing something small like that, it can really elevate the look, especially if we're doing things like painting out countertops and updating hardware. That's something that's really gonna go a long way in just making the space, especially the kitchen, look more modern and fresh and up to date and competing with some of the more newly renovated properties. Then the other thing, it depends if we're looking for condos or houses. So for condos, I find people want to see that there's some sort of work from home space. Even if you have a studio apartment or a really small one bedroom condo, it still does serve you to make sure that you're clearing some space and showcasing that there is a, a possibility for people to have a little desk or a little workspace separate from the living room even if that's tucking it into the bedroom or kind of by the dining room having something like that so people see yes i could work here there's still a very large percentage of the population that is working from home and they're going to purchase what they can afford so when we're talking condos there's not a lot of space so we need to be smart and that's where staging does come in oftentimes is just either working with what you have or clearing out and setting aside a small space to be able to have a computer or work zone and then also making sure that we're highlighting the balconies people do want to see an outdoor space if you don't have an outdoor space in your condo don't worry there's other ways that we get around that but that is something that i know is going to be a potential hurdle or feedback so i'm going to want to get ahead of it and that would be doing things like highlighting and making sure we have a picture of the common area green space or a rooftop terrace or highlighting any parks or green spaces that are very close by so that people see that there is still an opportunity to be able to have access to something like that even if it's not directly in your suite. But if you do have a balcony or a terrace in your condo, making sure that it's clean, making sure that the windows are clean and that people feel like it's an inviting space for them to go out onto and enjoy as part of their living space. And then for homes, I do find that most of our clients are moving out of their condos and they're looking for that third bedroom or extra bedrooms. And so if you have a three bedroom home and you have one of them set up as an office, then depending on the space, usually I wanna make sure that we're showcasing those all as bedrooms. Making sure that if a bedroom should be a bedroom that it is and that people don't have to imagine. Not everyone has that ability to be able to visualize a space and imagine how furniture would lay out. So sometimes having too small of a bed or not having a desk or having a desk and not a bed in there, people look at it and they're like, oh, this room's too small. It can't be used as a bedroom. Whereas if we put a bed and a dresser in there or even have it set up as a nursery or something so that people can see how the space is supposed to be utilized, I just find that that really goes a long way. They don't have to try and imagine it and feel like it didn't work for that and that's why it's being used as an office space. And then the other thing people are really looking for when they're transitioning into a house is a yard. So you wanna make sure that if there's anything you can do, depending on season, for landscaping and just curb appeal, making sure that the backyard looks nice, if there's grass that it's freshly cut, if the plants need to be trimmed down, let's do that. And if you have kid toys or anything loose in the backyard that makes it not show as well, you wanna make sure that that's tidied up and prepped. If you have a really small space, then we definitely wanna edit out as many things out of there as possible. If your garage needs a paint, if you have a detached garage, making sure that that's prepped and painted and people can see this is a really nice space that I can use to barbecue, entertain, or if people have fur babies or kids, that's why they're buying the house. They wanna have that yard to be able to socialize and enjoy with their family and loved ones. So making sure that that looks great. So those are my three main things that people give us feedback so if you follow along took some notes and these are definitely some things that you want to start working on now and that way when you do put your home up for sale 
then people aren't coming through and pointing out all of the obvious things that we just discussed. So hopefully you will get offers faster with less showings and won't have to end up doing it down the road later. If you are interested in knowing what the value of your home is, feel free to comment down below or reach out to us at Homeplicity Realty or on our website, homeplicityrealty.com. I'd love to hear from you. And if you're interested to know if there's anything that you should be doing, any of the items on the list or any additional ones in order to prep your home for sale, either to list it right away or down the road, I'd welcome the opportunity to have a discussion with you on that. Until next time, have a great day. Thank you.